The stage is set for polling in as many as 15 Lok Sabha seats in the Northeast tomorrow in what would be the first phase of polling. As lakhs of people gear up to exercise their franchise, uncertainty prevails in eastern Nagaland, where the ENPO has urged people to voluntarily abstain from voting. What makes things more complex is the shutdown call in eastern Nagaland from 6 p.m. onwards today. Should an organization make such an appeal to voters ahead of a crucial election like the Lok Sabha polls? Is the ENPO being undemocratic by urging people to abstain from voting? And most importantly, what are the authorities doing to ensure security of to those who would want to exercise their franchise? Well, these are the questions that arise at this moment when the Eastern legislators have made a fresh appeal to the people to not abstain from voting and exercise their franchise as their votes would prove precious in shaping the future. Well, Northeast Live editor in chief Wasbir Hussain spoke to ENPO President T. Sang Tham on the issue a short while ago. Let's listen in. The big development now is coming in from Nagaland, uh, Priya, where the ENPO has called a shutdown. That is a bund from 6 p.m. today. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is 6 p.m. today. The yes. ENPO has called a shutdown. Uh, they are they are stuck. They are, they have stuck to their decision of boycotting the upcoming elections. The voting for which begins, uh, to voting for which is tomorrow. Mm. Uh, they have uh, boy decided to boycott the ensuing Lok Sabha elections. Therefore, the ENPO has urged upon all the people living in the eastern districts of Nagaland not to turn up and not to cast their votes. Now, the differences between the ENPO and one of its uh, uh, and the Eastern Nagaland Legislators Union, uh, mind it, uh, viewers, remember there are 20 assembly constituencies in the eastern districts. Therefore, there are 20 MLAs from the eastern districts. Now, they have issued a statement a short while ago. They have uh, said that uh, the ENPO and the tribal Hohos. They are saying in the statement issued by the Eastern Nagaland Legislators Forum today, uh, a short while ago, the statement has reached the uh, uh, Northeast Live headquarters here in Gohati, where they are saying that the, EN, the ENLU is saying that the ENPO and the tribal Hohos have forced the legislators of the Eastern Nagaland not to participate in the democratic process of elections. Now, the ENLU, that is the Eastern Nagaland Legislators Union, is also saying that abstention from the ongoing Lok Sabha polls does not provide any advantage in the negotiation, rather it may delay the entire process. The honorable ENLU members are concerned that such a decision will hinder the negotiation process and may even lead to breakdown of the talks. Now that is the stand of the ENLU. The 20 legislators or all of those who are contesting the elections, uh, they have uh, described uh, this decision by the EN. Uh, uh, ENPO, uh, they have not supporting the decision of the NPO. They are saying that the ENPO and the tribal hohos have forced the legislators of the Eastern Nagaland not to participate in the democratic process. Now, the differences between the ENPO and the ENLU have come to the open. Now, uh, Sarah Konyak, our uh, our Kohima correspondent, uh, is live on this broadcast. Sarah, this is a very significant development that's going on. On the one hand, ENPO has called a bunch that is a shutdown from 6 p.m. today. That means they are bent on not allowing the people to come out of their homes and vote in tomorrow's elections. And the ENLU, uh, uh, on the other hand, is saying that the, the, the ENPO and the tribal hohos have forced the legislators not to participate in the elections. So it's a very, very complicated situation there. Absolutely, Waspi, whatever you have said is absolutely correct. Well, uh, the differences between the ENPO and the 20 Eastern legislators were there earlier as well. However, during the March 27 meeting, which was held in Tunsang, the public meeting, uh, it was a marathon meeting where the meeting lasted for more than nine hours. And uh, the communication gap and the differences that were there between the two organizations were resolved. And uh, NLU had also uh, had also publicly announced that they will support the decision. Uh, they will 
support the uh, decision and movement uh, of the demand of the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization. However, this time around, the ANPO, uh, the ENLU had made several appeals in different platforms. They had issued okay. several press Sarah, statements as well appealing Sarah, to the ENPO. Sarah, hold on. We are now joined by Mr. Chapiku Sangtam, the ENPO president. Mr. Chapiku Sangtam, ENPO president, to you task on the phone line? Uh, if I can request my producers to put me on through to Mr. Sangtam. Mr. Sangtam, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Yes. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Sangtam. Welcome to this live broadcast on Northeast Live. I am Wasbir Hussein here. Now, you have decided to call a, a shutdown from 6 p.m. today. That means the ENPO is very much firm on its decision to boycott the elections. No, it is not boycotting. They said we are not going to participate in the election just to show our displeasure, our resentment uh, to the center and the state. So it is not a boycott, but it's just we have abstained from participating in it. Now, now, now uh, Mr. Sangtam, the, the bond means the people will not come out of their votes to election. That is what you want. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, we will not call for voting. So, on the, the other hand... Voluntary, absta uh, voluntary abstention. Voluntary abstention. But now, yes. now the ENLU, the Eastern Nagaland Legislators Union, they have come out with a press statement. This is the press statement of the ENLU. They are saying that the ENPO and the tribal hohos they are saying that they have forced the legislators of Eastern Nagaland not to participate in the democratic process. This is the allegation they have leveled against you. No, this is, uh, we have uh, given the assignment to convince the INLU to understand our problem. But this, is a, this is a public resolution. So we have entrusted, the ENPO has entrusted all the tribal, respected tribal hoho to make them understand and uh, convince them to cooperate with us and accordingly no no you know don't you have faith in the state government and the central government uh, because the state government has told you uh, that uh, you know please participate in the election process uh, that talks will go on once the new government is in place at the center it is okay that though we agree but the um, question is like this we are paying to the uh from the center, they say that the committee was uh, given on 7th December last year, saying that without before election could have come that comes into force, your agreement or your this, uh, SNP will be settled. But that has not happened. But they have sent that a draft to the state government, and the state government has uh, kept the pending without delay. And even now, till now, they have not send yes or no to the center. They have not answered it. We have, uh, we have uh, given this, uh, even this uh, uh, ban, total shutdown, agitation, letters of the letter that according to the Minister of Home Affairs, we want that this should happen before election code of conduct comes into force. But they did not hear at all. That is why in many occasions we have uh, uh, this uh, public resolution was done reaffirming again and again but they do not hit at all. They do not take heat. That is why we have decided that we'll just, we not boycott, but we'll just abstain from participating in the election to show our discipline so, or, or to show our displeasure to the center and the state. Yeah, uh, now now the, the, the future, the future of the Eastern Nagaland legislators, uh, you know, all the 20 candidates uh, who, who would have won uh, uh, the 20 seats, uh, do you think their future is at stake or do you think uh, they should honor the, uh, the the decision of the people? They should. They should because after all, these are, they are being elected by the people. So they should respect the sentiment of the people. This is a people's movement. This is a grassroots level people's movement. So they should respect the sentiment of the people. Right. Now, now, Mr. Sangtam, what is different today? Because in 2099, also, you had called for a boycott. That time, uh, there was an assurance from the government saying that, please don't boycott, continue. Your problem will be solved. But this time, you have decided to stick to your decision. Did nobody contacted you or what was the background? No, till now, nobody. Till now, nobody. 
Nobody means from the state government or from the center? Uh, nobody, nobody has contacted me regarding this. Uh, my, so, yeah. my last question to you, my last question to yeah. you, uh, what will happen if some people voluntarily come out tomorrow to vote? Uh, that depends on the, the, the individual's pattern now. Uh, it is our EMPO is already said that we are not going to participate. So anybody thinks so will be at his own risk. Otherwise, we have already decided that we are going to, to we are not going to participate. So every tomorrow, supposing supposing if anybody comes out forcibly, then that all we, can, we cannot say that will be doing at his own risk. No, no, the ENPO, the ENPO can then be accused of not believing in the democratic process. Yes, according to the democratic process, because we have right to vote, right now to vote. We said that there's not a boycott. We want to send this, uh, this kind of message to the center and the state that we are not satisfied the way they have treated us. That is why we're showing our resentment to the center and to the state. Right. Uh, Mr. Chapiku Sangtam, thank you very much for clarifying on your stand. Uh, thank you very much for talking to Northeast Life. That was exclusive conversation that I just had with the ENPO President, Mr. Chapiku Sangtam. Uh, Sarah Konyak, Sarah, you have heard the ENPO President extremely rigid, very, very clear that they, uh, that they have not boycotted the election, but they have decided to voluntarily abstain from voting. They said that they are not happy uh, uh, with the stand of the government, with the ac actions of the government, and therefore, uh, they, and, and anybody who comes out to vote will be at her own risk. Uh, there is a mild threat there as well. How do you look at it? Uh, well, yes, must be this time around the ANPO is standing absolutely rigid and very firm to their decision, to their resolution, which was adopted this year in the month of February. And as we can see that they are uh, abstaining from the elections to uh, in, as a sign of showing their resentment. And in fact, was uh, we can definitely say that this is a very strong message that the ANPO is giving to the, to the central leaders, to the central government, as well as the state government. We have heard from the CM, we have heard from political parties, Parties, the uh, candidates in the fray uh, appealing to the ENPO to review their decision and come out and participate uh, and participate in the Lok Sabha polls. However, also at the same time, was we, this is a very tricky situation also for the 20 legislators. Yeah. Uh, today, in the statement which they had released, they have clearly stated that they will not take, they will not be answerable, or they will they will not take any blame in 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 course of uh, in the light of the talks coming to uh, fail or or if there is any breakdown in the talks, then they should not be blamed. The ENPO, we can, uh, the ENLU, as per the statement which was released today, we can see that, the, that there is a differences. Differences are coming out once again between the two organizations. So we will have to, only time will tell, uh, that is tomorrow, whether the 20 legislators will come out and exercise their franchise or whether they will honor the decision of the Eastern people, Wasbir. Absolutely. Uh, yes, uh, the ENPO has called for uh, a People to abstain from voting. They have, they have declared a shutdown uh, from 6 p.m. this evening. Uh, that means they are expecting the people in the, in the eastern districts not to come out to vote and there will be volunteers deployed and East Chapiku Sangtam has, has also said to the, gone to the extent of saying that anybody coming out to vote will do so at his or her own risk. Now the big question is whether the legislators themselves, the MLAs themselves will come out come to their respective polling stations to vote tomorrow that is the big question whether whether they are going to respect the decision of the ENPO and the tribal hohos or whether they will exercise their democratic right as MLAs or elected representatives they will go out and vote uh, so this is a very very interesting and and, and and development as far as the eastern districts in Nagaland are concerned